Welcome to tech-informer.com's presentation on Exchange Server 2007. My name is Ron Bettino and I'll be walking you through the latest and greatest features of Microsoft's new mail product. Let's get straight into it. Okay, here's an overview of what we're going to be covering during this particular presentation. Um, we're going to be starting off with the new uh, disaster recovery features um, available in Exchange 2007, of which uh, there are two. One of them is called Cluster Continuous Replication, and the other one is Local Continuous Replication. Um, and these are completely new. Um, it's not been done before in any other Microsoft product. Um, then we're going to be looking at Unified Messaging. Unified Messaging is a way of getting fax, email, voicemail, all in through to the one central location. Um, we're going to be looking at improvements to Outlook of Access, and there are many, and I think you'll be very impressed with the new version of Outlook of Access. Uh, we'll look at improvements to mobile messaging, and again, the degree of new policies, um, uh, management interfaces, um, and so forth are, are really um, quite impressive as well here. Um, changes to 64-bit technology. Exchange 2007 is now a 64-bit only application, and there are uh, numerous impacts that that's going to have on your deployment. Um, and what most people don't realize is that there are going to be significant performance increases by doing so, not just from a CPU perspective, but uh, what might surprise you is the um, reduction, the significant reduction in disk I.O., uh, disk input-output. What people looking at that too. Next up is the Outlook Auto Discovery. This is a feature where um, just by a user entering their name, their email, and their password, without putting in anything else, Outlook will automatically be configured. So it's a way of self-provisioning the client. We'll have a look at the new management tools. The uh, graphical user interface has been completely revamped uh, and simplified. And there's also um, a new powerful scripting engine uh, called PowerShell. And uh, we'll, we'll be going through that too. We'll be looking at new compliance features, uh, such as journaling, archiving, managed folders, and a bunch of other um, compliance features as well. We'll look at edge services. This is uh, something that enables you to do anti-spam and anti-virus and content filtering, both within and without uh, your network. Exchange server roles. Um, the Exchange architecture has changed fairly drastically. Um, Exchange now can be split in through to five different roles and therefore installed, if you like, on five different servers, if that's what you want to do. All these roles can be consolidated um, with a few exceptions as well. And we're going to also be looking at uh, licensing briefly and also the savings that you can achieve with the new Exchange 2007.